The Hidden Wisdom Behind Esoteric Knowledge. Written by Kelvin W. Nathan. Published by Audiobooks Office. The Introduction. Ever wondered about the hidden wisdom of the universe? You are about to delve into the profound world of esoteric knowledge. You will navigate through ancient mystical teachings, decode symbolism, and tap into universal energy. It's a journey that will challenge your perceptions, stimulate your mind and resonate with your spirit. So, buckle up. You are not just learning, you're embarking on a transformative journey of self-discovery and enlightenment. For more information about the ebook version of this audio, visit audiobooksoffice.com. We noticed that 85% of you who listen to our video are not yet subscribed to the channel. Please help support the channel by hitting the subscribe button and like the video. Thanks for inspiring us to create more content for you. Now, let's uncover the wisdom behind the esoteric, shall we? Lesson 1. The Origins of Esoteric Knowledge. You have probably wondered where esoteric knowledge originates, so let's delve into its profound and complex history. This knowledge isn't just pulled out of thin air, it has roots deep in the ancient world, where it was cultivated by early civilizations like the Egyptians, Greeks, and Babylonians. They perceived the universe in a different way, believing in the existence of a hidden knowledge only accessible to the initiated. You will find that esoteric traditions have long been tied to religious and spiritual practices. The ancient mystics, for instance, used esoteric knowledge to understand the divine mysteries of the universe, seeking a direct personal experience of the divine. Their teachings were passed down through generations, evolving into different forms, including Gnosticism, Kabbalah, and Sufism. The Renaissance was a critical period for the growth of esoteric knowledge. This was when Hermeticism, an ancient Egyptian philosophy of as above, so below, was rediscovered and incorporated into Western thought. Scholars eagerly explored these ancient texts, translating them into multiple languages, and allowing a broader audience to access this once exclusive knowledge. Today, the quest for esoteric knowledge continues, often through the study of ancient texts or spiritual practices. As you explore this path, remember it's not about gathering information for the sake of it. It's about seeking understanding and wisdom, developing a deeper connection with the world around you and within you. The origins of esoteric knowledge may be ancient, but its quest is timeless, inviting you to look beyond the surface and explore the hidden depths of existence. Lesson 2. Ancient Mystical Teachings. Often, you'll find yourself drawn to the ancient mystical teachings, as they form a significant part of esoteric knowledge you're exploring. You may ask why these teachings remain relevant even today, centuries after they were first conceived. The answer lies in their timeless wisdom, embodied in the profound understanding of life's mysteries and the human spirit's potential. The ancient mystical teachings aren't mere relics of the past, they provide a framework for interpreting and navigating our modern world. For instance, the concepts of karma, reincarnation, or unity, found in Hinduism and Buddhism, offer a perspective on personal responsibility, the cyclical nature of life, and interconnectedness. These ideas encourage a holistic approach to living, fostering empathy, tolerance, and mindfulness. Similarly, the hermetic principles from ancient Egypt, such as as above, so below, invite you to contemplate the interplay between the microcosm and the macrocosm, between the individual and the universe. These teachings challenge you to delve deeper into your thoughts and actions, and their impacts on the broader cosmic play. Yet, you can't merely intellectualize these teachings. They require contemplation, introspection, and personal application. The wisdom they hold isn't spoon-fed but discovered through your personal journey. This personalization is what makes them adaptable to changing times and cultures. Lesson 3. Symbolism and Sacred Geometry. While delving into these ancient teachings, you'll encounter the fascinating realm of symbolism and sacred geometry, which further unravels the depth of esoteric wisdom. 
Symbolism, in essence, is the practice of imbuing objects or concepts with meaning beyond their literal sense. It's a language, a secret code that, when deciphered, reveals profound truths about the universe and our place within it. Sacred geometry, on the other hand, is an ancient science that explores how the universe is geometrically constructed. It's a blueprint of creation, an interface between the seen and unseen, the finite and infinite. It's where science meets spirituality. Both symbolism and sacred geometry are integral to esoteric wisdom. They serve as keys that unlock the door to deeper understanding. You may wonder, why does esoteric wisdom rely so heavily on these elements? The answer is twofold. Firstly, these symbols and geometric patterns are universal, transcending cultural and linguistic barriers. They tap into our subconscious mind, helping us to resonate with cosmic truths that words often fail to convey. Secondly, they offer a tangible way to comprehend the intangible. They bridge the gap between the known and the unknown, the physical and the metaphysical. By studying these symbols and patterns, you're not just learning about abstract concepts. You're actively engaging with the universe, participating in its divine language. Lesson 4. Understanding Universal Energy. Diving deeper into esoteric wisdom, let's now explore the concept of universal energy, a vital force that permeates everything in existence. This energy, also known as chi, prana, or life force, is integral to various philosophical and spiritual perspectives. It's not merely a metaphysical concept but a reality that impacts your daily life. You're constantly interacting with this energy. When you're in harmony with it, you feel invigorated, motivated, and connected. On the flip side, when you're out of sync with it, you might feel drained, disconnected, and off balance. So, how can you align with this universal energy to enhance your well-being? First, you need to be aware of its existence. It's not something you can see or touch, but you can feel it. Think about those moments when you walked into a room and felt an immediate shift in your mood. That's you sensing the energy. Next, you need to learn how to harness it. There are various ways to do this, including meditation, yoga, and energy healing practices. It's all about finding what resonates with you. Lastly, remember that this energy isn't a one-way street. You're not just receiving it, you're also contributing to it. Your thoughts, emotions, and actions all emit energy that impacts the world around you. Hence, understanding universal energy isn't merely about personal wellness, but also about the interconnectedness of all beings. Lesson 5. Exploring the Astral Plane. Now, you'll frequently embark on a fascinating journey as you explore the astral plane, an intriguing dimension beyond our physical world. It's a realm where thoughts and dreams become reality, an ethereal playground for the soul. You may find the concept bewildering, but it's a critical aspect of esoteric wisdom that deserves your attention. Picture the astral plane as an expansive, radiant sphere of existence, separate yet connected to our physical world. You will encounter entities and energies here that you can't perceive with your five physical senses. Instead, astral perception uses the sixth sense or intuition, allowing you to interact with this ethereal world. But why explore the astral plane, you might ask? Proponents argue that it offers profound insights into our true nature. It's where you can commune with higher consciousness, explore past lives, or even glimpse into potential futures. It's a tool for personal growth, spiritual enlightenment, and a deeper understanding of the universe. Navigating the astral plane isn't as esoteric as it sounds. Techniques like meditation, lucid dreaming, and astral projection can guide your exploration. However, it's not a journey to be taken lightly. Adequate preparation, and understanding are essential to navigate this plane safely and effectively. Lesson 6. Unveiling the Law of Correspondence. In your pursuit of esoteric wisdom, 
you'll inevitably stumble upon the law of correspondence, a profound principle that's as mysterious as it's enlightening. This universal rule acts as a bridge, connecting the macrocosm of the universe with the microcosm of the individual. It's an echoing affirmation, as above, so below, as within, so without. Dive deeper, and you'll find that the law of correspondence isn't just about cosmic harmony. It's about recognizing patterns, understanding synchronicities, and tracing the interconnectedness of all things. It challenges you to realize that your inner world shapes your outer reality, and vice versa. You may question how this law impacts your daily life. Well, consider your thoughts, emotions, and beliefs. These internal states, according to this law, correspond to your external experiences. If you're consumed by negativity, you'll likely encounter adverse situations. Conversely, an optimistic mindset can bring about positive circumstances. This doesn't mean you control every event in your life, but it suggests that your inner world plays a significant role in the experiences you attract. By grasping the law of correspondence, you're not just gaining insight into the esoteric. You're also unlocking a powerful tool for personal transformation. It's a reminder to consciously cultivate positive inner states, to align yourself with the universe's rhythm, and to live in harmony with the greater cosmos. But understanding this law is just the start. In the subsequent section, we'll delve into the role of meditation and mindfulness, vital practices to truly harness and apply this profound principle. Lesson 7. The Role of Meditation and Mindfulness. With the law of correspondence in mind, you'll find that meditation and mindfulness are essential tools for truly harnessing its power. These practices enable you to delve deeper into your subconscious, creating a bridge between your internal world, and the external universe. As above, so below, as within, so without. Meditation, at its core, is a practice of concentration and focus. It's a conscious effort to calm the mind, quiet the chatter, and tune into the subtle frequencies of your inner world. This is where the law of correspondence comes into full play. By focusing inward, you're not only exploring your own consciousness but also tapping into the universal consciousness. The insights, realizations, and wisdom you gain aren't merely personal but reflective of the greater cosmic truths. Mindfulness, on the other hand, is a state of present awareness. It's about being fully engaged in the now, without judgment or distraction. This practice heightens your sensitivity to the subtleties of your environment, your interactions, and your own thoughts and emotions. Mindfulness helps you to witness the law of correspondence in action, in real time, as you observe the interplay of internal and external realities. Combine these practices, and you'll find a powerful way of aligning with the law of correspondence you'll begin to see patterns and connections that were previously hidden. You'll start to understand how your thoughts and emotions correspond to your reality. You'll realize that you're not just a passive observer, but an active participant in the creation of your world. Lesson 8. The Power of Intuition, and Psychic Abilities. Building on your understanding of meditation and mindfulness, you'll find that tuning into your intuition and psychic abilities can further enhance your alignment with the law of correspondence. This ancient law reveals that our outer reality is a reflection of our inner world, and by honing our intuitive senses, we can gain a deeper insight into both sides of this mirror. Intuition is often described as a gut feeling, an instinctive knowing that transcends logical reasoning. It's an internal compass guiding you towards the right path, even when the road ahead seems uncertain. Your intuition is your subconscious mind communicating with you, using symbols, feelings and perceptions that are often dismissed by your conscious, logical mind. Psychic abilities, on the other hand, are an extension of these intuitive senses. They involve tapping into the universal energy field, perceiving subtle vibrations and energies that most people are unaware of. You've probably experienced moments of psychic intuition, such as thinking of someone right before they call, 
or having a dream that later comes true. These aren't just coincidences, but signs of your inherent psychic abilities. By practicing meditation and mindfulness, you can strengthen your intuitive and psychic abilities. You'll become more attuned to the subtle energies around you, fostering a deeper connection with the universe and your place within it. It's a transformative journey, but remember, it's not the destination that matters, but the growth you experience along the way. As we delve deeper into the wisdom behind esoteric knowledge, our next stop involves exploring the influence of astrology and planetary energies. Lesson 9. The Influence of Astrology and Planetary Energies. After honing your intuitive and psychic abilities, it's time to step into the realm of astrology and planetary energies, understanding how these cosmic forces significantly influence your life. Astrology, often dismissed as pseudoscience, operates under the premise that celestial bodies, such as planets and stars, have a profound effect on human affairs. It's not about reading your horoscope in the daily newspaper, it's about comprehending the intricate cosmic network that we're a part of. Consider this, the moon's gravitational pull influences the tides on Earth, so isn't it plausible that other celestial bodies might have an unseen impact on our lives? Each planet vibrates at a unique frequency, emitting energies that interact with our own. When you were born, the unique arrangement of planets and stars in the sky imprinted upon you, shaping your character, propensities, and life path. Astrology allows you to decode these celestial influences, offering insights into your personality, relationships, and destiny. It's like a cosmic GPS, guiding you towards your highest potential. This esoteric knowledge isn't about predetermination, but empowerment. It equips you to make informed decisions, harness opportune moments, and navigate life's challenges with wisdom and grace. Lesson 10. The Science of Numerology and Sacred Numbers. Pivoting from the celestial to the numerical, you will now discover how numerology, the study of sacred numbers, plays a significant role in your journey towards self-discovery and understanding the universe. Considered an esoteric science, numerology deciphers the hidden meanings behind numbers and their influence on our lives. Every number carries a unique vibration and energy. When you comprehend these energies, you'll start to see patterns in your life. You'll discern how certain numbers appear frequently, influencing your decisions, experiences, and even your personal characteristics. This isn't mere coincidence, it's the universe communicating with you in the language of numbers. Take, for instance, the number seven. In many cultures, it's considered sacred, symbolizing perfection and completeness. There is a reason why there are a total of seven days in a week, seven colors in a rainbow, and seven different notes on a musical scale. These aren't random facts, but reflections of a deeper, universal truth that you're now privy to. Numbers also hold sway in your personal life. Your birth date, for example, can reveal profound insights about your personality and destiny. By converting your birth date into a single digit, numerologists can interpret your life path number, a key to understanding your innate strengths, weaknesses, and purpose. But remember, numerology isn't about predicting the future. It's a tool for self-discovery, providing you with a framework to interpret the world around and within you. As you delve deeper into this mystical science, you'll uncover the subtle, yet powerful, ways numbers shape your reality. Lesson 11. The Healing Properties of Crystals and Gemstones Delving into the realm of healing, you'll find that crystals and gemstones aren't just beautiful to behold, they're packed with potent energy that can positively impact your well-being. This isn't a new concept, from ancient Egyptians to Chinese medicine practitioners, diverse cultures have utilized these natural elements in promoting physical and mental health. Let's get analytical. Each crystal or gemstone possesses a unique molecular composition that vibrates at a specific frequency. When you come into contact with them, they can influence your body's energy fields and frequencies, leading to a shift in your physical and emotional state. For instance, 
Amethyst is considered a powerful stone for emotional balance and calm. Rose quartz, on the other hand, is reputed for attracting love and fostering forgiveness. Yet, it's not just about picking a pretty stone and hoping for the best. Thoughtful selection, and intentional use are key. You must choose a crystal that aligns with your specific needs or intentions, then regularly cleanse and recharge it to maintain its vibrational power. Now, the question may arise, is there scientific proof? Currently, scientific research on crystal healing is sparse. However, the placebo effect is well documented. If you believe in the healing properties of crystals and gemstones, it's possible that your mind will create the positive outcomes you're seeking. Lesson 12. Shamanic Practices and Indigenous Wisdom. You'll find a wealth of ancient wisdom in shamanic practices and indigenous traditions, often overlooked in the modern world. These holistic healing methods have long been the backbone of many societies, offering a unique perspective on wellness and the human nature connection. These practices, which are based on a deep awareness of the natural world, provide vital insights into how to live more happily with nature and yourself. Shamanic practices are inherently spiritual, emphasizing the interconnectedness of all life forms. As a shaman, you aren't just a spiritual guide but also a healer, using your connection with nature and the spirit world to restore balance and health. This balance isn't just physical, it's emotional, mental, and spiritual, too. Indigenous wisdom, on the other hand, is a vast field of knowledge passed down through generations. It encompasses environmental stewardship, social equity, and holistic health. These teachings can offer you a profound understanding of your place in the world and how your actions impact the wider community and environment. So, why are these practices relevant today? Our modern world is characterized by disconnection, from each other, from nature, and from our deeper selves. Shamanic practices and indigenous wisdom offer a path to reconnection, fostering a sense of belonging, empathy, and respect for all life forms. As you delve deeper into esoteric wisdom, you'll discover that these traditions and practices have much to offer. They invite you to question, to reflect, and to grow. But the journey doesn't stop here. Next, we'll explore the art of divination and tarot reading, a practice that promises to further expand your understanding of the esoteric. Lesson 13. The Art of Divination and Tarot Reading. So, how does divination and tarot reading fit into the big picture of esoteric wisdom? It's an intriguing aspect to study, as it interweaves a unique blend of intuition, symbolism, and ancient wisdom. Divination is an art that seeks to unveil the unseen, to decipher the mysteries of the future or the unknown. Tarot reading, a form of divination, uses a deck of symbolic cards to interpret patterns and potential outcomes. It's not so much about predicting your fate, as it's about providing guidance. You see, these practices aren't just about foreseeing dash their tools for self-reflection and understanding. Just as an artist uses a brush to bring their vision to life, a tarot reader uses the cards to paint a picture of possibilities. Each card in a tarot deck has a distinct meaning, and the way they're arranged and interpreted can provide fascinating insights about your life's journey. This is where the connection to esoteric wisdom comes into play. The arcane symbols and imagery of the tarot are steeped in centuries-old mystical traditions, giving you a glimpse into the profound wisdom of our ancestors. Understanding these practices require an open mind and a sensitive heart, ready to delve into the labyrinth of symbolism and intuition. It's a journey of self-discovery that deepens your connection to the universal wisdom. As we wrap up this section, let's transition into exploring ancient mystery schools, where this knowledge was originally cultivated and guarded. Lesson 14. Exploring Ancient Mystery Schools. As you venture further into the realm of esoteric knowledge, let's turn our attention to the ancient mystery schools, the cradles of this profound wisdom. These secretive institutions were the epicenters of spiritual, 
and philosophical education, where the initiated were taught the mysteries of existence, the cosmos, and the divine. You must understand that these schools weren't academic institutions as we know them today. They were conduits for profound wisdom, often cloaked in allegory and symbolism. Unveiling this knowledge was a process of inner transformation, a journey from darkness to enlightenment. The teachings of these schools, therefore, weren't merely intellectual but experiential, intended to foster a deep, personal understanding of the universe and our place within it. Delving into the practices of these schools, you'll find they emphasized ritual, meditation, and contemplation. They taught methods to awaken the higher self, to perceive the interconnectedness of all things, and to transcend the limitations of the physical world. Their teachings were guarded with strict discipline, only revealed to those deemed ready to receive them. The influence of these schools is undeniable, with their teachings permeating ancient civilizations and shaping religious thought. From the Pythagorean school in Greece to the mystery cults of Egypt, these institutions served as the breeding grounds for much of the esoteric wisdom we discuss today. Reflecting on these ancient mystery schools, you can't help but admire their commitment to the pursuit of wisdom. As we transition into the next section on the wisdom of ancient texts and scriptures, you'll see how their influence continues to echo through the ages. Lesson 15. The Wisdom of Ancient Texts and Scriptures. While you may marvel at the influence of ancient mystery schools, it's in the wisdom of ancient texts and scriptures that their teachings truly come alive. These texts, often shrouded in symbolism, provide a profound understanding of the world, humanity, and the divine. They're not just old writings, but rather, they serve as a conduit for wisdom that transcends time. Every ancient scripture, whether it's the Vedas, the Bible, the Quran, or the Tao Te Ching, holds a unique wisdom. They present universal truths and philosophical insights that continue to influence our thoughts, beliefs, and actions today. You'll find wisdom regarding morality, human nature, and the universe, all intertwined in stories and verses that demand contemplation. It's easy to dismiss these texts as outdated, but when you delve into their depths, you'll find they're anything but. They're repositories of knowledge that have stood the test of time. They've shaped civilizations, inspired great thinkers, and provided solace to countless souls. By studying them, you're not just reading, you're engaging in a dialogue with the past, to better understand the present and shape the future. While the language and context may seem archaic, the wisdom they convey is timeless. Yet, it's not just about understanding these texts, but also about applying their wisdom in everyday life. By doing so, you're not just gaining knowledge, you're learning to live better, to navigate life's complexities with wisdom that has echoed through the ages. Lesson 16. The Role of Rituals and Ceremonies? In the journey of exploring esoteric wisdom, you'll often encounter rituals and ceremonies, each with its unique significance and purpose. They aren't mere formalities to be adhered to, but powerful tools that help you delve deeper into the mystical realm of esoteric knowledge. Rituals and ceremonies often serve as a bridge connecting the physical and spiritual realms. They act as potent conduits, channeling spiritual energy into your everyday existence. As you participate in them, you're not just performing a series of actions. You're embarking on a transformative journey that alters your perception of reality. These rituals don't merely influence your spiritual state, they also shape your psychological framework. The repetitive nature of rituals creates a rhythm that can soothe your mind and induce a meditative state. This state, in turn, enhances your receptivity to esoteric knowledge. However, it's important not to become overly reliant on rituals. They're stepping stones, not the destination. They're designed to help you access the esoteric wisdom that exists within you. The real transformation happens when you internalize this wisdom and apply it to your life. In essence, rituals and ceremonies are more than just traditional practices. 
They're dynamic processes that facilitate your communion with the divine, your exploration of the self, and your understanding of the universe. By understanding their role and purpose, you'll be better equipped to harness their power in your pursuit of esoteric wisdom. Lesson 17. The Connection Between Esoteric Knowledge and Quantum Physics. On your quest for esoteric wisdom, you'll soon discover that it's not just steeped in ancient spirituality, but also deeply intertwined with the modern field of quantum physics. There's a fascinating interface where these two realms meet, illuminating a universe governed by principles that transcend the physical plane. Quantum physics, you'll find, is all about the behavior of particles at the smallest scales. It's in this realm that you'll encounter curious phenomena like superposition and entanglement, concepts that defy classical logic. At this level, reality doesn't behave as you'd expect. Particles can exist in numerous states at the same time, and acts on one particle can affect another no matter how far apart they are. This is where the line between the spiritual, and the scientific begins to blur. Esoteric wisdom, at its core, speaks of a unified field of consciousness, much like quantum physics posits a quantum field that underlies reality. Just as quantum particles can be entangled, esoteric teachings suggest that all beings are interconnected at a profound level. It's a concept that resonates with quantum theories, echoing the idea that we're part of a vast, interconnected cosmic web. Don't let the complexity intimidate you. Instead, use it to deepen your understanding of the interconnected nature of existence. While quantum physics provides a scientific framework, esoteric knowledge offers a spiritual perspective. Together, they paint a more comprehensive picture of reality, one that's both scientifically robust and spiritually profound. Having explored this intriguing intersection, you're now better equipped to understand the law of attraction and manifestation, our next area of focus. Lesson 17. Understanding the law of attraction and manifestation. You'll find that a key aspect of esoteric wisdom is understanding the law of attraction and manifestation, which suggests that your thoughts can shape your reality. This concept, while abstract, is deeply grounded in the belief that our minds are powerful catalysts for change. It's not just about wishful thinking, it's an exercise in aligning your thoughts, emotions, and energy to create the life you desire. Consider this, your thoughts can be likened to seeds. Positive, empowering thoughts often lead to positive outcomes. Conversely, negative thoughts can manifest undesirable circumstances. The law of attraction doesn't discriminate. It's a neutral force that simply responds to the energy you're putting out. It is your obligation to ensure that your thoughts, words, and actions are congruent with your objectives. Manifestation, on the other hand, is the process of turning your thoughts into reality. It's where the law of attraction is put into action. This involves not only believing in the possibility but also taking steps towards your goal. You're not just a dreamer, but a doer. Understanding the law of attraction and manifestation isn't about gaining supernatural powers. It's about recognizing your innate potential and unlocking it. It's about becoming more mindful of your thoughts, more deliberate in your actions, and more attuned to your desires. This is the wisdom behind esoteric knowledge, the understanding that you're the architect of your own life, and the power to shape it lies within you. Lesson 18. Exploring the Chakra System, and Energy Centers. Building upon this understanding of the law of attraction and manifestation, another essential element within esoteric wisdom to explore is your chakra system, the seven energy centers aligning your body. These chakras, each vibrating at a unique frequency, act as conduits, enabling the flow of life force or prana throughout your body. As such, they're pivotal in determining your physical, emotional, and spiritual well-being. Your foundation is your base chakra, which is positioned at the base of your spine. It is related to physical survival and security. Ascending, the sacral chakra, nestled in your lower abdomen, harbors creativity and emotional balance. 
The solar plexus chakra, situated in your stomach area, is the hub of personal power and self-esteem. The heart chakra, at your heart center, is the seat of love, compassion, and forgiveness. Your throat chakra governs communication and self-expression. The third eye chakra, which is positioned in the center of your forehead, is linked to intuition and understanding. Finally, the crown chakra, at the top of your head, connects you to the divine and the universe, symbolizing spiritual enlightenment. Blockages or imbalances in these energy centers can cause a wide range of ailments both mental and physical. So, you must understand and nurture them to maintain balance and harmony in your life. Meditation, yoga, and energy healing techniques can aid you in this process. Mastering the chakra system, is a significant step in the journey of esoteric wisdom. But it's not the end. Join us as we delve deeper into the subsequent section about the path of spiritual enlightenment. Lesson 19. The Path of Spiritual Enlightenment. Embarking on the path of spiritual enlightenment, you'll discover it's a transformative journey that demands self-awareness, introspection, and a deep desire for understanding the universe's hidden truths. This path isn't a quick fix, it's a lifelong commitment to personal growth and spiritual evolution. You're not just seeking knowledge, you're aiming to live it, breathe it, and manifest it in your daily life. This transformative process often includes unlearning what you've been taught and opening yourself up to the unfamiliar. As you peel back the layers of societal conditioning, you'll find that the core of your being is connected with the universal consciousness. Your journey towards enlightenment will require you to tap into your intuition, something many of us have neglected. The more you trust in your gut feelings, the more your path will unfold in ways you never imagined. This intuitive guide, when listened to, can lead you to profound wisdom and self-realization. Meditation is another vital tool on this path. It's through silence and stillness that you'll connect with your higher self and the universe. The insights gained here can bring about a profound sense of peace and understanding. Remember, though, that enlightenment isn't a destination but a journey. It's about continual growth, learning to navigate life's challenges with grace, and maintaining a state of equanimity regardless of external circumstances. So, approach this path with patience, openness, and a genuine desire to uncover your true self. This journey of spiritual enlightenment can indeed be life-altering if you're willing to embrace it wholeheartedly. Lesson 20. Embracing Esoteric Knowledge in Everyday Life. In your daily life, embracing esoteric knowledge can serve as a bridge, seamlessly connecting your spiritual journey towards enlightenment with the practical realities of living. It's not just about meditating in sacred spaces or reading ancient scriptures. It's about finding spiritual meaning in ordinary tasks, recognizing the sacred within the mundane, and realizing that every moment is a chance for spiritual growth. Esoteric knowledge isn't some lofty concept, detached from your daily experiences. It's a tool you can use to cultivate a deeper understanding of yourself and the world around you. When you understand the hidden meanings behind everyday occurrences, you're able to navigate life's challenges with greater wisdom and resilience. Consider, for example, the simple act of preparing a meal. On the surface, it's just a necessary chore. But delve deeper, and you'll find it's an opportunity to practice mindfulness, to be present in the moment, to appreciate the nourishment the earth provides, and to express gratitude for life's blessings. This isn't about discarding the practicalities of life in favor of spiritual pursuits. It's about integrating the two, recognizing that your spiritual journey and your daily life aren't separate paths, but one continuous journey. By embracing esoteric knowledge in your everyday life, you're not just enriching your spiritual practice, but also enhancing your understanding of life, fostering inner peace, and cultivating a deep sense of fulfillment. In essence, Esoteric knowledge becomes not just a part of your spiritual journey, but a practical tool for living. It's an approach that enriches your life in all its dimensions. So, 
Isn't it fascinating how esoteric knowledge, from its ancient origins to its embodiment in our daily lives, guides our spiritual enlightenment? Take, for example, the renowned physicist, Nikola Tesla. He explored universal energy in sacred geometry, showing us that this wisdom isn't just mystical, but scientifically recognized. Embracing this knowledge can lead us on a profound journey, unlocking the secrets of the universe and our place within it. Thanks for listening to or reading this from Audiobooks Office.